Hello everyone, this is a Romyverse 22 review here to bring you another vintage Beanmon review, and today I have Go Tiger from Battle Beanmon Fire Spirits slash the Strike Shot series, which is the toy line. And uh, so a quick look on the box here, we have Go Tiger here, a big shot of him on the front. We have Kiba, his owner. We have stuff here I can't read, again, the item number 99, Takara in the corner so you know it's legit. On the side here, we have the Short Stroke Core, which is the name of his core. On the back, we have the frontal and profile shot of the blaster. We have skeleton pieces, the armor pieces, warning logo on top of another warning logo. Uh, we have the spike shot, uh, its stats, as well as the stats for a normal beta ball when fired from Go Tiger. And we, uh, per usual, we have another image of... Uh, the game that it's playing, which is, I think that, I definitely, I think that's definitely Battle Hammer. I keep saying they're all Battle Hammer, but I'm pretty sure that is Battle Hammer. Uh, on the bottom here, we have Go Tiger again. Uh, more logos and stuff. We have, um, on the side here, we have uh, How You Fire Go Tiger, which is a one-handed grip. And we have... The uh, spike shot being fired, I believe it's advertising its type, so it is a power and rapid fire type, as well as the DHB armor advertisement right there. So, okay, that is the box, and now I will show you the beat em on. Okay, so here we have Go Tiger in all of his glory. So, as you can tell from his name, of course, he's got a whole tiger motif going on here. So, on the top of the helmet here, you can see two eyes, two red eyes here, as well as a nose. Basically looks like a Power Ranger helmet to me. Um, his uh, teeth here are the visor. The shoulder pads on the side here seem to have like sort of claws coming off the edge here. We have his foot armor, which are again two giant spikes. Um, we have a... I don't know what this is. I guess that's just a sight fin, I believe. Um, and of course we have the stroke core, which is the main attraction to Go Tiger. One of the more unique cores you can get in the Battle beat -em on uh, Fire Spirits line. So, it's one of the biggest cores in the series. One of the hardest to assemble to. I had quite a time assembling this back in the day when I got him. Uh, so, yes. Pretty big, as you can tell. So, basically how it works is you're supposed to hold it one-handed. I usually do it in two because I, I, I'm not a big fan of one-hand grips. That seems to be a thing that Fire Spirits did a lot of with most of its blasters, was having uh, giving them one-handed grips, which... I didn't quite prefer. Uh, the trigger here is elongated for, you know, more space for the thumb. And basically how it works is that you hold it like this. We'll say you you could do it like this. And, uh... Basically you just... push uh, the trigger in while holding these two sides. And it pushes the trigger inwards and brings these two large fin pieces inside which constricts the beta ball twice as much so again it's another sort of power function that this blaster has um, it can get shots out pretty fast because it's so uh, rough and powerful so I guess that uh, can allow for rapid fire I guess so you can fire repeatedly if you wanted to um, again you can see a little black strip in here which adds spin to the beta ball um, so again, yeah, uh, it's usually held one-handed, but I like to do it with two. You can do it either way, really. It doesn't matter. So that's basically how the core works. Um, so if we just put you back together on camera, because I'm not going to cut the video here, because I'm too lazy to do that as of right now. Um, so yeah, I thought this time I would actually take the blaster apart to show you guys the core. Because uh, it is a rather unique core. So just put your last foot on there. And there we go. So, um, he comes with two uh, beta balls. He comes with the strike shot, of course, as well as a normal glass beta ball. So, the strike shot, of course, is a hollow plastic. It, um, it has a black rubber strip on here. So it's kind of like the drive shot. 
The only difference being is that the spike shot here has little like tracks on the side or on the inside which give it uh, some more grip to the surface it's uh, spinning on so it's supposed to allow it to go a lot faster I believe okay and again with same as Cobalt Saber Fire this strike shot has a strip that you have to align with the rubber piece in the core so you'll have to do that manually because it is a very rare occurrence where you actually get to get the thing to land properly in the blaster in fact it kind of prevents it from doing that so you have to line it up just like that and uh... hold on a second I'm gonna detach that okay alright so here we go this is the spike shot so yeah pretty fast and it's pretty powerful uh... as expected from a power beat on and a rubber strip on the strike shot which adds a lot of momentum obviously why won't you focus come on man I don't mean I don't even know why I'm focusing on it but yeah so with a normal beat ball the result is powerful not as much or not as fast as this one but still pretty powerful so again yeah it's pretty strong um so yeah that's pretty much it um aside from that there's really a whole not uh, not a whole lot left to him. Again, he's pretty cool. We got like a little sight fin here, which is kind of cool. Um, again, not really sure what that's for, but yeah. So, um, yes, that was Go Tiger. Sorry, I'm kind of running out of words to say. It's late at night, and I wanted to shovel this video out because I hadn't made one in quite a while. But uh, yeah. A uh, little bit of news here I was going to throw to you guys. Um, it's going to be a while before I could review more beat -em on So until then, I might shovel out uh, videos of different, uh, you know, subjects I'm dealing with. But uh, I will hopefully be able to uh, grab some more beat -em on for you guys to review. Uh, not now, of course, but uh, in due time, I will bring you a few more reviews of beat -em on But there will be a sort of hiatus on these guys for a little while. But... Uh, Yes, I will bring you some more stuff coming later, and yeah, I will hope you enjoy the videos I have uh, prepared for later, but until then, um, if you like this video, please comment, rate, subscribe, toss a like, it really helps me out a lot, you know, with my channel, you guys are a big help, thank you so much, I wouldn't really be able to have this opportunity without you guys, so again, thank you very much. So yes, this is a Rummy Bear 22 review, and I'm signing off. Haven't used that in a while. Wow. You know what? I'll just stick with my usual, you know, goodbye. <laughs>